Hello everyone and welcome back to another Godo tutorial. And today I'm going to teach you how to create a 2D navigation system in Godo 4.1. You can find the GitHub link in the description from where you can download the whole project. Now as you can see I have this empty project opened here and I'm going to start by creating the main scene which is going to be a 2D scene. Let us rename it to main and in this main node I'm going to add another node which is going to be the navigation region 2D and inside this node we are going to add a polygon shape 2D which is going to be the area where the player can move and navigate in. Now from the inspector we need to go to navigation polygon and click on new navigation polygon and click on add point or create point and in here I'm going to create a polygon shape just randomly like this. Here we are. So this is the area where the player can move and navigate in. So let me save the main scene. And next we need to create the player scene by clicking on add a new scene. And our player is going to be a character body 2D. Let me rename it to player. And as always it's going to need a sprite and a collision shape to denote. Now we need to add another node to our player which is going to be the navigation agent 2D and this node is going to make the player find a specific path to a certain position while avoiding obstacles. So let me add the navigation agent node like this and let me save the player scene now for the sprite you can simply use this icon from the resources folder click and drag to the texture I'm going to scale it to half of its size so let me say here Font 5 and for the collision shape you can select the rectangle shape 2D. Now we need to adjust this collision like this and save it again. Now we need to create an instance of this player in the main scene and we need to move it inside our polygon shape here or the navigation region 2D. Now let me attach a script for the player node and I'm going to select empty here and as you can see I have created three variables the first one is going to be the speed of the player the second one is the destination which is going to be a vector tool and that will contain the destination where the player is heading to. Now the third one is the navigation agent that will contain the navigation agent 2D node. Now I'm going to call the physics process function and inside of it I'm going to create another variable called direction and I will assign to it let's say to local navigation agent dot get next path position dot normalized now I need to call the velocity and assign a value to it which is going to be the direction times the speed and finally we need to call the move and slide function now next I'm going to create a new function called create path and inside of it I'm going to call the navigation 
agent dot target position equal to the destination and save it and for now this is it for the player code now we need to go back to the main node and also attach a script for it now select empty again and here I have created a new variable called player that will have the player node instance. And what I'm going to do is I want to make the player move towards the mouse position when I click on the left mouse button. So here I want to call the unhandled input function and inside of it I have type bit so if not event is an input event mouse button if it's not a mouse button then we need to return and if event dot button index is not mouse button left or not event pressed so if you are not pressing the mouse the left mouse button we are going to return and do nothing so if we press the left mouse button then we need to call the player dot destination and here we need to assign the event dot global position and now we need to call the player dot create path save it and before I forget let's go back to the player node and click on navigation agent 2d and we need to go to debug and check enable it here and that will create a line that shows us the path of the player now let us test it and go ahead and click on the run button we need to select the main scene Now, I just want to make the polygon shape visible by going to debug and click on visible navigation. So in here, as you can see, when I click on the left mouse button, the play is moving toward that position and is going to find uh, the perfect path to this position but here you can see that the play is moving to the edge of this area and if you want to change it you just need to go to the navigation agent 2d and click on path finding and here we need to change the path post processing to edge centered now when we run the game again the player is no longer getting close to the edges of this area so it's always in the center of this navigation area so I think this is it for today I really hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe that will help me a lot thank you very much for watching and see you all later.